All right, so let me show you this video, partially because I mentioned demonic earlier. Uh, I want you to watch. Now, I don't know if you saw the story that I posted, or did I show it? Where? No, I don't think I showed the one where he was attacked by demons in the night. Did you hear this one where he says he was attacked by demons in the night and he literally had scratch marks under his arms that the demons left in him? Now, he was in bed with his wife and like four dogs, but he blamed the demons for this. So, so the guy's lost his mind, literally lost his mind. And under normal circumstances, like I'm not showing you Candace Owen, because I don't think Candace Owen is going to have any say in the next administration. I, I don't think anybody, anybody in the administration cares. But, you know, Tucker Carlson addressed the Republican National Convention. Tucker Carlson is very close to J.D. Vance. Tucker Carlson is very close to uh, Trump Jr. And I think Tucker Carlson has the potential to have a voice in this administration. So um, I, I think it's important to expose you to what Tucker Carlson has become, has become. <clears throat> the demons, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what it was, but I mean, maybe it was demons. Do you know? Can you prove that it wasn't demons? But anyway, I'm not going to show you that video because that video is just nuts. It's just insane. This video has content that is insane. Uh, Nick says, I'm not voting for Tucker Carlson. That's good. But by voting for Trump, you are voting for Tucker Carlson. By voting for Trump, you're, you're voting for the Tucker Carlson, you know, view. You're, you're voting for that part of the Republican Party. You're voting for a leader in the MAGA, which Tucker Carlson is. You're voting for somebody who has influence in the White House. Tucker Carlson is partially part of this administration. By the way, did you hear RFK? I, I, I missed this one. RFK over the weekend saying that Trump has told him uh, that uh, on day one uh, that he becomes president, the administration will uh, ban the use of fluoride in water. The use of fluoride in water. So we can, we can finally, the water authorities will stop poisoning all of us. Somebody did a calculation on how many lives that would cost. But, you know, this is who you're voting for. You're not voting for Trump. You're voting for the dream team. And, and Tucker's part of that dream team. You're voting for, for, um, for uh, RFK. You're voting for no fluoride in the water. Uh, as a priority for the uh, Trump administration. Pretty, 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 pretty amazing. All right, anyway, here we go. This is, um, this is Tucker Carlson. Where's my play button? Why is there no play button? I think I did nuclear technology in the first place, which are not human forces, obviously. And let me just ask you this, which I've asked a million people at dinner parties, but never in public. What was the moment w we can point to that nuclear technology was invented? You know, we can, we can point to Isaac Newton and say, what happened fell on his head? Or we can, you know, we can point to Albert Hoffman in his lab messing around with the, you know, ergot bacteria. That's when LSD was made. I don't, I've never met a person who can isolate the moment where nuclear technology became known to man. So new technology, there's no moment in which this happened. No scientist figured this out. Now, you know, he's ignoring the very reality that Einstein figured it out. Um, but, um, and, and many others in different ways, right, uh, during that period. It wasn't a bunch of German scientists in Germany. Uh, and his conclusion is, and he starts off by saying, nuclear technology didn't come from man. New te nuclear technology did not come from man. Um, so uh, here's the, 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 the rest of the um, And so where did it come from exactly? Where did it come from? Oh, German scientists in the 30s. Really, when? Name the date. And I've never heard anybody do that. It's, it's very clear to me that these are, these are demonic. I mean, these are... Nuclear technology is demonic. Now, he's saying it in a way that doesn't suggest the demons, but it's demonic. It came from demons. It came from evil demons. I mean, we'll see in a minute. 
it came from Christian hating devils. It came from the devil. I mean, this is Tucker Carlson. This is not some crazy evangelical. This is not come some whack job somewhere. This is Tucker Carlson telling us that new te nuclear technology came from the Antichrist. And he's got the ear of the president of the United States. He has a bigger following than almost anybody. I mean, uh, Rogan has a bigger following. But he's been on Rogan. He's huge on Rogan. Uh, Lucas says, Lisa Meitner is the German scientist who discovered fission in the late 1920s. Yeah, I think I saw a paper. Uh, 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 what's his name? Because uh, there was a there was a talk at, at the conference at the at, at Ocon about uh, nuclear fission, and, and I think I saw a paper um, that, that yeah that that, suggest, that that said that. So, uh, thank you, Luca. It was Lisa Meitner. Somebody might want to text uh, Tucker that Lisa Meitner is the Antichrist. Evil. evil. Their only purpose is to destroy the innocent, to murder the innocent. The only purpose of nuclear bombs is to destroy and murder the innocent. They've only been used once. And, in the, and you know, I think there's an interesting ethical debate about their use, was Truman right or whatever. But if you take three steps back, you could say, well, wait a second. If you end up killing, incinerating tens of thousands of civilians, that's just a bad thing. Let's, let's just be honest. That's just a bad thing. And anyone who does that is going to pay consequences. Uh, it's just true. And by the way, the fact the second bomb was dropped on the go. Christian population of Japan, which was majority in Nagasaki. In fact, it was sighted in on a church in Nagasaki. Was that an accident? Why Nagasaki exactly? And by the way, why has every subsequent American war resulted in disproportionately the deaths of Christians? That would include Vietnam, by the way, where the Catholic population was decimated, up to and including Iraq and Syria, now in Russia. Why is it that our use of force consistently since the end of the Second World War has been against Christians? That's been the effect to kill Christians, the bombing of the Balkans in the 90s under NATO. Why is that? I thought you had to see that, right? I mean, and, and all in the name of Christianity, all about Christianity. Uh, Nick says John Bolton has more influence on Trump than Tucker Carlson. Nick, you can rationalize and deceive your way into believing that if you want. That's fine. Go for it. What the hell? Uh, this is the same argument as Trump is playing 4D chess. But you know very well that John Bolton has zero influence on the Trump administration, zero influence on Trump. And the reality is that Tucker Carlson is friendly with Trump. The reality is that Tucker Carlson is very, very friendly with J.D. Vance. And the reality is that Tucker Carlson is very close to Trump's children. And it, it, the reality is that John Bolton did not speak at the national convention. He, he, you say Tucker is a journalist. Tucker, he, Bolton was fired from the cabinet. Tucker is a journalist. But Tucker spoke at the Republican National Convention. Journalists don't do that. Tucker's not a journalist. Tucker, to quote Mary Eileen, is a batshit crazy advocate, representative of MAGA, with millions of followers, not for his journalism. Tucker Carlson hasn't done journalism in 20 years, but for his commentary. Uh, Ryan says the Overton window has been shattered. Absolutely. The Overton window is the, the, the window of acceptable beliefs on the Christian, wacky, conspiratorial right. The Overton window has been shattered. There is no limit to how batshit crazy you can go on the right. It's unbelievable. And again, I cannot vote for a candidate who is associated, even indirectly, with a Tucker Carlson. Now, I know there's some woke crazies on the left. Tucker has a much bigger following than them. Much bigger following than them. If you add up all the woke, 
We are woke, dedicated woke, Antifa woke. They don't add up to as many people as the people who follow Tucker Carlson. Uh, the guy's a nutcase. It's not a matter of liking his ideas or not. I, I, it's not even at the level of liking ideas. The guy is nuts. And he's nuts in the direction of a crazy fascist pro-Hitler. You saw that historian he interviewed. Insane religious nationalist ideas that at the, at the end of the day resonate with the base of Donald Trump's coalition, of Donald Trump's people. 